some awesome dozer footage then uh, this is the video for you guys someone was mentioning in the video last time they said you're not wearing safety boots where's the patch Green patch. You guys want to know a really fun fact? About 72% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed. I don't want you guys to feel like you ever have to buy anything to watch and support this channel. The best thing you guys can do is just subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and maybe leave a nice comment. This is really cool and nice and all, but you guys want to see what's even cooler? <laughs> Oh, not only do I feel good, I freaking look good, dudes. We need triaxle tandem, Volvo tandem. Okay, let's go fire shit up. Man, it is seven degrees, almost eight degrees outside right now. That's Celsius. That is warm, baby. Oh. We need to come up with a name for her. Right down below in the comments. What should we name the old dozer? Okay, we're gonna fire up the triaxle tandem and the other tandem. Nice. As you guys can see here, this is a little nicer of a truck, but it's a tandem. He's been sitting for months, like six months. I don't know if even the battery will have juice, but sometimes the shit surprises you. Oh, it even smells the same. I know some guys in here can relate to that. That's super surprising. Okay, let's try this. No. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that. All right, we got the Volvo, the Western Star, that way. And if you're wondering, Taylor, why you have all the boxes up in the air? Well, the sun is going to go all the way down here, and then the sun all day is going to be back in that way. Now, there's snow and ice and dirt and stuff left in the back of the boxes, so today everything should get cleaned out. Uh, first thing on the list right now is to um, clear out all the snow where the trucks were just parked. All right, you guys think anyone's ever done a bucket cam on a dozer? Oh, uh, probably, but they're not me. Bucket cam, baby! my ass and got soaking wet. We're back here now at the screener and you guys just saw me climb up on the pile and what I really kind of just figured out was it needs to warm up a little bit more before I'm even getting in there. Um, that or I need a D11. D11 probably could be more fun, but uh, not realistic. We're going to, of course, wear our safety harness and all safety precautions. We're gonna climb up there so I can set up a time lapse for you guys and let's just get up there. We're at the top of the screener here now. You guys can tell behind me, helicopters are just buzzing around. So all this stuff down here needs to get removed. That's where we were messing around last week. And we had all good intentions to start moving the snow back here, but it never happened. But today is perfect day for it. Every last bit of snow there and here has to get pushed that way. Now, why? Why am I burning fuel in my machines to do this? Quick and easy answer is the more organized and more prepared, the faster the snow melts, the faster I can get in here screening. So if the snow, if I can help by getting all this snow down here away, 
that's gonna speed up the time that I can actually get back in here with the screener, screen some soil, and start selling product. And let's get pushing. Let's just get pushing some of this snow. This hasn't been touched all year. There's probably a good three and a half to four feet in some spots. It actually would have probably taken me a crazy amount of time to get all the snow that I pushed up into that windrow that you guys watched all the way back into this pile whereas with the loader it takes one scoop and it'll be done so that's why I got the loader and that's what we're gonna do let's get her done update for you guys on a loader update I got in touch today with a company uh, I forget where they're out of but they deal with um, scales for loaders and whatnot I reached out to them and uh, they actually have a system that will do a digital readout in here because we're like I said we're actually gonna be starting selling specialty sands and stuff here locally if you guys need sand or Elgin sand concrete sand filter media sand and you live in Ottawa I'm your guy Woo! Man, am I ever happy that we got that uh, all cleaned up today. <laughs> Someone commented before and says, is that beer? Kid slugging beer. First of all, not a kid. I'm a grown motherfucking man. And it's just black coffee because real men drink black coffee. We are starting to dig a basement uh, for a new home. Headed up there right now to actually go dig a test hole because we're firing up tomorrow to start it. But they're calling for a storm that's going to bring possibly 40 centimeters of snow. That's over almost a foot and a half of snow. Start up. Come on, start. When they love you the much, no, it's fake, fake, or even hate. Don't be scared if the way paralyzes you stay at the gate. All right, Dad's gonna back over my drum. All right, let's see if we can get through the frog. much frost it came up really quick hey eh? all right head to the office and we're back so job went well as you guys saw we got through the frost and that's what me and dad were just talking about on the way back it's gonna be a really nice easy dig there there's like maybe four inches of frost. Big storm, that's all that's on the radio today is they're talking, this is gonna be the largest system we've ever seen. Bah. I'll flip it back to me from yesterday and uh, continue on from there. All right, grabbing all my gear here. We are parked back here at the office now. Ooh, okay, 
back in the office here now. Um, I'm gonna put all this footage in and hopefully get it out to you guys. Um, and you guys are actually watching this on the exact day that it happened. Thanks for watching the bulldozer video today. Um, and honestly, it was awesome getting that done. That is like one thing checked off the list now. Snow can melt, the melt, the thaw can happen, and I'm not gonna be too worried about water pooling up in different locations. So thank you guys for watching today. You know I love you. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, by the lux of the weather and the jobs, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> no, I didn't forget about you guys. The True Patriots channel that watched the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you are, one of those true patriots, I want you guys to comment down below, do you even doze? Why do you even doze, you might ask? Well, I was in that dozer today and I was pretty sure I was running them controls pretty good. I'm not sure. I want you guys to let me know down below how you thought that I did. If you guys watched the entire video to the very end, comment down below, do you even doze? I appreciate it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Yeah.